Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified when I post new videos. Today's video is going to be on my go-to makeup. I do have a look that I typically go to if I am wanting to look like I actually tried and put some effort into it and clean up a little bit of the uneven skin tone and things like that. In this video, I'm also going to try these Velour Lashes. These are the Effortless Barely There. So I'm probably Probably going to do like a wear test with the glue and these lashes I got these free from influencer and I'm so excited to try them I'm just gonna keep this quick and to the point it really doesn't need any explanation I'm just gonna grab my covergirl foundation this used to be my favorite foundation and I don't want super full thick coverage so I'm just gonna dot it on and I do have redness and things that I like to cover it hasn't been working out for me lately so I really want to like it again so I'm giving it a shot, but I do still have a little bit of redness peeking through on my cheeks. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more. I am going to conceal a little bit because my eyelids are a different color and my under eyes are dark. I have not been getting good sleep. This concealer is like pretty much gone. So if you guys have any recommendations on any good concealers that you like that I should give a try, let me know. My chin's a little red today, so I'm gonna quickly set my eyelids just because they're gonna crease really bad really quickly the more that I keep blinking. So I'm just gonna take some loose powder. This is the Maybelline Loose Fitting Google Fit Me Loose Powder. I am gonna set a little bit under my eyes just because it's gonna crease under there. And I'm gonna set my forehead just because that gets pretty dewy during the day. My nose a little, my chin. I do set the rest of my face a little bit just because I do like to do my powder bronzer and it doesn't blend as well on top of damp foundation. Just gonna throw on some Benefit Butter Bronzer in the shade Light and just warm up my face. Lately I've been obsessing over this pretty vulgar blush in the shade Hush Blush from my BoxyCharm, right up above my contour, Becca Cosmetics Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. I'm gonna be using that today. The high points of my face, like my cheek area where the sun would naturally hit, that's where you wanna put your highlighter. During the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, their Stila eyeliners were on sale for 10 or $11 a piece when they're normally 22. And when I was in high school, this was my favorite eyeliner. I was so obsessed with it. But then I ran out and I couldn't afford it. And then by that time, I was trying other cheaper options and I kind of forgot about it. So when it went on sale, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get it again. So I got black and I got white. So I'm gonna use this today and I'm just gonna line right by my lash line just because I want to try my velour lashes and then they'll just look funny if they're just lying on top of my skin. I am gonna take some of my Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Liner and Tight Line just to help the lashes again look a little bit more blended and cohesive when I put them on. So next I'm gonna curl my lashes. The ends of my right eye never want to curl. These lashes are $26 and the glue is $12. I got them for free in an influencer box box. If you are curious on how to sign up for influencer and you've never heard of it before, you can go ahead and watch my recent video right up here. Okay, so it does say the effortless collection, no measuring, no trimming, no eyeliner, no drama. But I did put eyeliner on because I didn't read this beforehand. I've never tried these before. So already pulling them out of the package, I can feel that they are going to keep their shape very easily without any problems. They are durable feeling. They feel just so much more luxurious. They look like they're gonna be perfect for my small little eyes. So I'm just gonna brush this glue on. I've never been able to put on lashes that easily before. I think the length of them, that they're so much shorter, makes them so much easier. I literally just laid them on there and they just, boom, adhered to my eye. They feel comfortable, they don't feel itchy. Sometimes false lashes feel really itchy. My eyes are not irritated. Normally when I put my glue on, after I put my lashes on, I have to sit there like this and fan my eyes. It took me one try on each eye. So that's the completed look. It's super easy. I know that this face takes me like 10 minutes to do and these lashes were so easy to put on. It's 10.50 and everything is on. On my face I will check in with you guys later all right guys so my lashes are still on it is 145 they're not popping off whatsoever the foundation is very patchy though it's not super oily or anything like my forehead looks good 
but on my jaw area it's very patchy which is the issue that I've been having with it lately hey guys I'm here to give you my final thoughts on this foundation let me close the door real quick it is 734 so my lashes have been on since what time? I don't even remember what time it was. I think it was like 10.30. The lashes, the foundation, everything has been on for like nine hours. The eyeliner still looks fabulous. The lashes still look fabulous. They feel fabulous. My eyes did not water today. They did not bug me. I don't feel like I want to rip them off. They did not lift up on the inner corner, the outer corners. This glue is amazing. The lashes are amazing. Now let's talk about the foundation. So the foundation looks good in these areas whereas for me with a lot of foundations they don't usually look good in these areas but they look good in this area this foundation does not look good in this area it wore off on my chin and it's so patchy down here i have a little tiny breakout right here that i did try to cover and go over with an extra layer of foundation when i was applying it and it just looks so orange and dark in that area it looks just so orange right here. I used to love this foundation, but it's not something that I'm absolutely in love with anymore. I wonder if I get another color, if it will be less orangey and patchy looking down here. I don't know. I am going to keep using this foundation. You probably will see it in my videos just because I'm I'm gonna want to use it up. I do kind of like it more than the LA Girl foundation, the LA Girl Matte foundation, to be honest. It just feels smoother. I don't look super oily with this foundation on. I know it's not new or anything, but it is something that's in my collection, so I figured I would kind of talk about it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.